So we're a little bit out of practice with this, actually. Yeah. And, and we've I'm been like, MIA for a little bit, too. There we have. We've been a little MIA since. Yay. We are engaged. Yay, yay. <laughs> Give me a kiss. I went to kiss you and you threw him away. Sorry. I felt like that kid, like, that, like, really likes a girl. And he, like, goes to talk to her and she, like, walks away. And he's like, uh. So. We are getting married in... September of 2017, mm -hmm. September 30th to be exact. Yes, we can't tell you guys the place yet because we actually want to do a video of the entire day, so we don't want to like ruin anything. Thank you guys so much for being so excited for us and all the support that we've been getting. Exactly. It's been absolutely incredible. Sorry, we've been kind of holding out on the wedding details. We wanted to make sure that we had everything in place before we were like, yeah. oh, and we're getting married in August, just kidding. We're gonna get married in September, April, yeah. now. Like Exactly. You know, yeah, we are kind of weird. I really don't even know how to transition this one. Um, I mean, so for the most part, we've kind of been a little um, silent and we didn't want to do a video yet because I think just out of respect, we were kind of staying uh, silent yeah. for a bit. You're like, yeah. Yeah. I was going waterworks. Video. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> obviously, with all the stuff in Orlando, it's absolutely fucking devastating. Yeah. No words, none. My heart goes out to anybody who knew, anybody who they lost, or anybody that got injured. Um, what we're gonna do, actually, I'm gonna try not to cry, because all I do is cry. All I've been doing is crying since, obviously, June 12th. Um, we're gonna make sure that at the bottom, and then in the corner of this video, there's the link to the official GoFundMe. They've um, made a page for it. They've made a shit ton of money. Five point as of today. Well, as of right now, it's five point eight million. Um, they've been raising the goal. Their new goal is seven million dollars, and this money is going to the survivors, to the, the funerals and the yeah, services for, for the families of the victims. Yep. So basically, I guess the point of this is just to kind of like a little bit of like an update of you know where we've been, and also a bunch of you have been asking is um, it's a scary question. Yeah, it really is. First and foremost, everybody needs to keep their head up. I mean, yeah, this is obviously a terrorist attack and a hate crime, if you ask me, it's a hate crime first. Don't be afraid to be exactly who you are. Like, don't let this... Like me, who I like didn't want to leave the house yeah, after everything. She, like, when you called me and told yeah, me, what I, was going, I, like, I didn't you and understand. Was like, what the fuck? Like I was freaking out. I didn't. I didn't get it because obviously no. it was the day after. It was the morning after. I was like, I'm, I, was, I don't understand how she's so unaffected. That's why I said to your mom. I didn't realize when I didn't realize the severity of the situation. I didn't realize 49 of our brothers and sisters, you know, 49 family members, died for no reason. You said a shooting, so I figured, okay, people are, you know. Because well, my, my dad had texted me, and then when I got to your parents' house, I, like, ran through the front door, and I was like, I have to hijack the TV right now. I have to, I have to turn on CNN. And, yeah, your mom and I were sitting there, and we're like, yeah. like, what the fuck? That's scary, because, yeah, that easily could have been us. I, of course, that would be us. We'd be like, let's go to Latin night and dance. I know, right? But I think that's, that's also the fear that I, 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 I can guarantee the majority of us had is that what if... Yeah. And that's one thing that you definitely have to tackle. It's true. And I'm having a hard time being the one to be positive here. And I'm like, well, why, you know, why go to Pride this year? And Heather actually made a really, really good point as to why we should. And we still are going to go to Pride. So living in New there. York, <laughs> we're very fortunate to be in such an open-minded state. But even here... Everybody faces adversity every day. You face haters, people that don't like you just based on who you love and who you identify as and bullshit like that. If you don't get the fuck out of your house and deal with all of the hate and- Are you talking it, to me or are you talking to everybody else? Well, I'm confused. <laughs> every, everyone, which you are included, literally live every single day like it's literally your last and be exactly who you are and don't fucking worry about anybody else. Unless you do that, it just- They win. It, Kristen's uncle had said something to her the other day. Him and his partner, or his husband now, I mean, they've been together for, I think, about 30 years now, and he just made a comment to me basically along the lines of that he's so happy that like his generation had fought so hard because now it kind of paid off. You know, like Heather and I are getting married, and I mean, we're not that alone. Just to see the videos of the 
thousands and thousands of people standing around like at the different Even vigils. in like London, yeah. It's fucking insane. It was, it was incredible. Actually, the generations before us have fought so hard and... We need to continue to do that because listen, if we have kids and one of our kids is gay, I hope to fucking God that they have as good of a time as we've had, if not better, <laughs> hopefully better. If every single person was afraid after something terrible and horrendous and traumatic happened, we wouldn't be where we are. We wouldn't be allowed to be married. Doma wouldn't have been shot down. We wouldn't be able to adopt children in the United States legally. It's just... If we don't keep fighting, which I think is kind of what we're trying to say. Yeah, it's kind of like, don't lose faith. This is probably going to be one of the most historical prides, probably since after the Stonewall. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, literally, I mean, yeah, literally. literally. Yeah. I mean, you know, you can mourn in your own way. You can donate. You can go to a candlelight vigil. You can, you know, stay in your own home. You know, you could do whatever you want. But don't be afraid to go out and be exactly who the fuck you are. Yeah. I love that campaign that they started to keep kissing. Yeah. I think that's really, really important because we have babies to fight for. We have another generation after us. If you don't continue to move on and move forward and keep on, keep on in. That sounds terrible. You sound but, like from the Brainy Bunch. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. Yeah. It, like I said, it hit our community and it hit us all and now is when we have to keep on fighting because I guess, because you were right, because if there was ever a time to continue to fight for our equality, it's, it's now. now. If you do see us at Pride, please do come up to us because it's going to be an emotional one and it's going to be something that I think is really, really important. It's just Everybody has to get back to normal life at a certain point. It does, it sucks. You do, you need time to, to heal and to mourn and to cope and then you got to keep fighting. Yeah. It's like how many more people have to die before we fucking get our shit together. So that's another Canada's thing. Canada's looking great. Yeah, but no, not only Canada, it's just please if you, I, like that's one thing that I saw on my Snapchat actually <clears throat> a couple of weeks ago. Someone had posted a picture saying that voting is stupid and voting is, no, you're a fucking ignorant piece of shit. You have to educate yourself and you need to vote. Because, no, serious, I, and I don't know who you are. I think I fucking <laughs> deleted true. you. Um, you need to educate yourself this election, especially because our fucking country is really in jeopardy now. Nothing is changing. We're stuck in this limbo. And like I said, this is not going to be a fucking political video or any, by any means. But at the same time, educate yourself. Don't pick Democrat or Republican just because your parents do or your friend says. No. Educate yourself wholeheartedly so that when you vote this coming election you could be the vote that makes the difference and i don't think an educated decision not just oh she's a woman oh you know you like his fucking toupee that's no. his real hair sadly that's his real no it's not that's his real hair i'm gonna google this because i don't believe that's you. donald trump's real hair it is <laughs> it is, yeah it sucks it's, Unfor it's unfortunate that we had to do something like this but at the same time it had to I be felt done. like we had to, we yeah. had to say something. Especially some because so. of how silenced we've been just because of all of this. Thank you for your patience. Yes. We love you so incredibly much. Um, we hope to see you at Pride. This is an important one. And remember all 49 of those angels. Because you know what? Now we have some kick-ass guardian angels to, to stay by us. I, that's, I, that's one thing that I definitely, I really do think. I, I think they'll keep us safe. And... Maybe that's kind of cheesy, but I really do kind of feel that way. So, like I said, come find us. Come say hi. Um, of course. And we hope to see you. I'm so, I'm actually, I am I'm really excited. You okay? Mm. I love you. What's your next video gonna be of? I have no idea. Stay tuned. Oh God. Okay, guys, we will see you next time. We love you. Bye.